welcome back students now we are going to learn how to find square root by division method it is not just a simple division of any number a bit different but it's quite easy so for example let us take 4489 now here there are why there is one rule which you need to follow that if your question is a three digit number then you are going to take one number first and then the remaining two and if your question is a four digit number you are going to take first two numbers and then two numbers we will be seeing the examples of both the type first of all i have taken a four digit number so we have to divide four thousand four hundred and eighty nine so first we will be taking two digits that is forty four now here you have to take a square number only that is you can take one one za two two za three three za four four za five five za in that manner only you cannot take 2 3za or 2 4za or 3 5za no you have to take a square of any number only okay so 2 2za 4 3za 9 4 4za 16 in that manner only you can go so 44 is 44 a square number no it is not so we have to take any square number less than 44 So six six is a thirty six. It is less than forty four, and seven seven is a forty nine. That will exceed forty four. So we have to take six six is a thirty six, and subtracting we get eight. Now both this remaining two numbers you have to take it down at a time. So if you got eight hundred and eighty nine, also this number is to be added on left side. So here we got six plus six, twelve. On right side you go with subtraction, and on left side you have to do addition. Now you have to add any number in the ones place over here, and you have to multiply the whole three numbers with that number only. Okay. So how we have to decide to take which number? For that you have to see this last number and remember the properties. Last digit is nine, so nine comes in the square of which number? It is either three or seven. So we have to just check it out. That one twenty three three is a. Do we get eight hundred and eighty nine? No, we get three hundred and sixty nine. And now what about one hundred and twenty seven seven is a? So twenty seven seven zero. We got eight hundred and eighty nine. So here we have to add seven, and over here also seven. So twenty seven seven zero. We got eight hundred and eighty nine, and the remainder is also zero. So our quotient is the square root of our question. That is square root of four hundred and sorry four thousand four hundred and eighty nine. Is sixty seven. It's very easy. You just need to concentrate and remember the properties to know which number is to be added over here. Okay. Now one example we will be seeing of three digit. Let us take five hundred and twenty nine. So five hundred and twenty nine is a three digit number. So first of all, we will be taking only five, and then twenty nine together. Is five a perfect square number? No. So a square number smaller than five is two two is a four. Right? Subtracting five minus four, we get one, and then we take twenty nine down. Here we will be adding two. We get two plus two. 
4 now what we should add over here will be decided by this last number again last number is 9 so we need to add either 3 or 7 let us check with 3 43 3 is 129 so we will be adding 3 over here here we got the remainder 0 so the square root of 529 is 23 hope you understood this method very well now as we saw in prime factorization method that if we are given a non-perfect square number by multiplying or dividing it we got the square number and then we found the square root of it but in division method we cannot multiply or divide but here we are going to subtract or add any number to a non-perfect square number to make it a perfect square so first of all let us see the number which we need to subtract Okay students, I forgot one more thing that if you are given a decimal number to find the square root of, you are supposed to use division method only. And for example of a decimal number, let us take 31.36 is 31 a square number no so we will be taking 5 5 is a 25 which is a smaller number than it now we got a decimal point in our question so we have to put it in our quotient also and then we will be taking this 36 down also we will be adding this 5 on le left side we got 10 then we have to add anything over here through which we get 636 last digit is 6 so we can add either 4 or 6. Let us check with 4. We get 416. And then with 6. Yes, we got 636. So we will be putting 6 over here. And in the quotient also. We got the remainder 0. So the square root of 31.36 is 5.6 is that clear how to get the square root of a decimal number